Hey, it's Tyscark11 for another Ultra Sun Moon Wi-Fi battle. This was another battle in the same mixed OU tournament as the last one. So this time I brought my Made in Abyss team. And Rico was probably the MVP here. Which is nice because usually when I use this team, she doesn't get much use at all. So I figured that you would be going for Stealth Rock and it would be safe to go for Eruption even if he had Surdy. I mean, obviously he had Surdy, but I figured it would be safe to go for Eruption because you would have to be going for Stealth Rock. But he predicted me staying in. So I really should have gone out into Bozum. So a knockoff there would have been really good. But now Rico can just eat up whatever this thing wants to do. I went for Sludge Bomb to be safe because it hits a lot more things than Fire Blast would. Now here I expected a switch out into Jirachi. Thankfully the Fire Blast did kill. I'm not sure if the crit mattered. I don't think it did at that low HP. I knew that I would outspeed the Azumarill because this Gudra set has just enough speed to outspeed him as a world. So thankfully I'm not missing fire blasts. Though that did do a lot less than I thought it would, even under Veil. That means that it would not have killed with no Veil. So I was expecting Moonblast which was kind of dumb because more likely it would be going freeze dry and that would be super effective on Maru. So that was a really dumb thing to go in there too. Should have just gone into MIDI in the first place. But thanks to sleep claws I don't have to worry about MIDI getting put to sleep now so that was a plus. So I could have gone for Psy Shock here and just taken it out. That probably would have been much better. Though I forget if Nidhi was actually useful at this point. I think she may have been, but I'm pretty sure in the long run it would have been safer had I gotten rid of the Rotom right here. So sacking off their Don fan. So here was a pretty risky play. If they were Megazard X, they could have gone for a Dragon Claw and immediately taken me out. But since they were Megazard X, I figured they would probably be going for Dragon Dance because why would I stay in on the potential Megazard X? So they actually went for Flare Blitz expecting me to go out into Tapu Baloo, which 
kind of unlikely for me to do because there's nothing Baloo could really have done to a Megazard X. But it all works out because I get off a Drago Meteor and it kills even under Veil, so really hard hitting then. So I stayed in because they've had to go for Veil, why wouldn't they at this point? So I just get off a little bit of free damage. It won't do much because of the special attack drop. And at that point, Rico wasn't really useful anymore with such low HP. There's nothing that she could really tank anymore. I kind of wish I'd planned for the switch and just gone for a Psyshock. Though I guess I did it because I knew I could just send in Ozen. Now I obviously do not want to be taking an Iron Head. So now this came down to some really, really good luck. I'm going to have one guaranteed turn of sleep, so... I need to wake up on this turn, I mean on this upcoming turn, on this turn now I need to wake up and not flinch. I know I would be living it, but I absolutely need to wake up and not flinch, which after the battle they ran house and I believe they said that was an overall 20% chance for me to hit the knockoff there. I could have probably still handled them with a bit of luck anyway because Nanachi only needed to not be flinched once. Well, she needed to survive and not be flinched by the first Iron Head, really. As long as she didn't get flinched on the first Iron Head, I believe she would have been fine and have been able to take out the Jirachi with a Drain Punch. But thanks to Maruf, it didn't really need to be a concern. Maruf waking up and getting the knockoff not being flinched that turn just guaranteed that I would be winning. So I guess Maruk and Rico were the MVPs here. And Nanachi is just cleaning up after everyone else.
So if you want to battle me, then tweet at me asking for a battle or contact me on Discord. And I have regular tournaments, mixed OU and themed tournaments at my Discord server, link in the description. So see you next time.